This recruiting ad from the U.S. Air Force has the feel of a video game with the color distortion that gives the ad a virtual look to it. The unmanned drone plane takes pictures for the ground forces so they can hunt down a sniper. Then the tagline tells us this is not science fiction, it's what the Air Force does every day. Military recruiting has always been a significant part of the Pentagon budget, but since the U.S. began the so-called War on Terror, the amount of tax dollars spent on military recruiting has increased dramatically. According to PR Watch, military recruiting now involves specialized RVs that travel to high schools and public events where students might go. It involves running ads before movies, on airplanes, and in airports. But one of the most effective recruiting tools has been the creation of video games. In fact, some of the most downloaded video games today are those created under the heading of America's Army. These video games mix virtual characters with actual military footage from Iraq and Afghanistan and allows those who play to track down and kill the terrorists. What is missing from these video games and the Air Force ad we looked at is the fact that thousands of innocent civilians are being killed by the U.S. military. The unmanned drone and the Air Force ad is being used in Iraq and increasingly in Afghanistan and Pakistan. These unmanned drones have killed over 150 people alone in Pakistan in the last few months, according to U.S. anti-war activist Kathy Kelly, who was in Pakistan interviewing people who fled their communities because of the drone attacks. For more information on civilian casualties with the use of unmanned U.S. Predator drones, go to the website Voices for Creative Nonviolence. And for information on counter-military recruiting resources, check out the American Friends Service Committee's Youth and Militarism page.